Hello my fellow riders, this is Chris from Riding Reviews and today we're going to be looking at the WKSX125cc scooter. Now as you can see we are looking at the WKSX125cc scooter. Now this is a Euro 4 bike I know that Euro 5 has now come in, um, but these are what's called derogated. That means that if you tell DVLA that you still have some stock of Euro 4 bikes left, you could tell the DVLA and they will give you one more year to sell them. So if you buy these bikes, you would still be classed as a first owner. It's just the way that we get away with selling them for one more year, even though they are Euro 4. So we're going to do this the same way we normally do, spec, design, comfort and cost of riding. We won't be doing a test ride yet because these bikes aren't actually sold and I don't want to put any miles on them until we actually sell them. So we are just going to be taking a look around the bike. Now I would say these bikes are a cross between the Lexmoto Diablo and the original WKTTR125CC. But have a look, see what you think and we'll get back to it as we carry on. Spec. So this bike comes in at 8.72 horsepower of power or 6.5 kilowatts. Has 14 inch wheels on the front and they are tubeless and it has 14 inch on the back which is also tubeless. Combined braking system and it is hydraulic discs, hydraulic brakes front and back. And as I said, they are combined because they need to be Euro 4 spec. LED lights on the front, LED indicators, LED rear lights, and the tank on this is 4.1 litres. That means that this will be able to take you around 120 to 130 miles, depending on a lot of different factors, but on average you should be looking at about 120 miles. It has enough space underneath the seat to have a large Full-faced helmet, the uh, the helmets that come up and down, um, they're slightly bigger on the form factor, so you probably won't be able to get those in. Another good thing about these is you can fit a top box straight on because they do have a luggage rack, and we will go through that a little bit more in a minute. The clocks are exactly the same as what you would have on a Lexmoto Diablo, and the actual form and fit of the bike is fairly similar to also the Diablo or the uh, Nico Zabrontes or something like that. They're, they have the same frame. It does come with a USB charger and it is just rev and go. So we'll have a look at those lights. Before you start your bike, always let the bike prime first. Remember that if the kill switch on the handlebars is on, it will not start, and also if the side stand is down, the bike will not start. This one is not a sprung loaded side stand. I don't really like those sprung loaded side stands, they're a bit of a pain in the bum, and if the wind catches your bike, it's going over. So on the dash here will come with a service light, a fuel light, a time, OD meter and engine management light indicator indicators and that's pretty much it with this one. The mirrors you should be able to get about 75% use out of the mirrors. Design. These bikes are based loosely on I would say three different bikes. So it has the clocks off of a Lexmoto Diablo, uh, it has the body shape off of, I think it's a Zonti, uh, not Zonti, it's a Bullet Zabrusi or something like that. And that has the same size wheels and, and all that. And it also has the same body shape as the WK TTR125. That's the scooter, not the motorbike. I would say that this looks quite a lot better than the original WK TTR, and there'll be a vid picture up here somewhere. It looks like a good bike. You could use this for 
deliveries and stuff like that especially on lockdown people are looking for an extra income that'd be good and it does have a usb port as well so that you can plug in your phone gps whatever uh, that will be a 2.1 amp comfort so we'll we'll take it off the size of the center stand we'll take a seat i am five foot nine and i can almost flat foot it but not quite if you are smaller then you can always just have one foot on a scooter it's a lot easier to just do one footed rather than uh two feet um just because they're a little bit lower balanced so all the weights at the lower end of the bike that means you can balance them a lot easier so if you're a shorter person i would say probably you you could go for a um, a scooter instead of a motorbike and then you might be able to get one that fits you slightly better so as i said before you will be able to see about 75 percent of the mirrors behind you i'm quite broad if you're not as broad as i am then you'll be able to see more there's a couple of things on here that are really nice like the twist grips so as i said you, you should be able to ride this for a fairly long period of time without feeling uncomfortable you can twos up on it obviously you're going to have reduced speed but it is designed to have two people Remember though, if you are 17, you legally are not allowed to ride with a pillion passenger. If you get caught with a pillion, you are likely to lose your bike. And also, if you're 16, you're not allowed to ride this bike. You have to wait until you're 17 because it's a one, two, four. Cost of riding. At the minute, Cheap Bikes Rust has got an offer on this uh, while stocks last, and that is £1,499. Normally, these are £1,499 plus £100 on the road, so you are saving yourself £100. For the foreseeable future, until the stocks change or until the Euro 5 models come in, we will see which, which comes first. Tax for these at the moment is £20 a year. Um, the first year's tax comes with the bike. Because it is a new vehicle, you do not have to have an MOT on this for three years. And your insurance, you should be looking at somewhere in the region of 350 to 500 pounds. Uh, this is from estimation from Bikeshore. And if you want to get insurance on these bikes, there is a link in the description from Bikeshore. If you do go with them, then Riding Reviews gets a little bit of a kickback that helps me improve my channel. So please do so. Remember, if you are riding any sort of motorized vehicle, um, I would always recommend helmets, gloves, jacket, and boots. You can wear the trousers. You should wear the trousers. Most people won't because they're a bit of a pain in the ass to get on and off. So, yes, you should. But being realistic, most people won't. So that's it for this bike. I hope you have all the information you need if you don't and you would like to know some more please comment below and i will answer every single comment that you put there a little bit of a channel update um so at the minute i have gone on to tiktok as well so we are doing tiktok instagram twitter pinterest uh reddit i'm doing all these sort of things i've got my website as well so if you want more in-depth um, help go onto the website join up to the forum and then i will do my best to answer all your in-depth questions as best as i possibly can if i don't know the answer i will try and find out for you at the minute there isn't any euro 5 bikes in the country so i can't actually do any euro for a uh, euro 5 bike uh, reviews it's just because of COVID, because of imports and all that sort of stuff. Everything is messed up at the minute. So whatever is in the country at the moment is probably Euro uh, 4 bikes. Euro 5 bikes are coming April-ish. I can't 100% guarantee that, so we shall see. Uh, there are a couple of other things that are coming down the pipeline. Um, as soon as Zontis are able to, they will be bringing down one of the new used series motorbikes for me to do an extended test ride on. Um, they're not allowed at the minute because they are quite a distance away from me, so you're not allowed to uh, mingle, 
shall we say. And they don't send them down in couriers, they actually bring them down themselves. Um, Bikeit are supplying a couple of things to me for me to do reviews on, i.e. there's a couple of top boxes that we're going to be doing some reviews on. Um, they've got some thermal lined top boxes and delivery top boxes and all that sort of stuff. And I will hopefully be doing a heated grip installation video shortly as well. So please like this video to tell that YouTube algorithm that this is a video that people like to watch. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all my latest content. But as always, ride safe.